Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in the last couple of videos, we've looked at append and append to. However, now we're going to take a look at an example application which is going to use append to append things to a drop down list, uh, an HTML drop down list. So, essentially, what we're doing is we're creating a series of links, so three links. And when these links are clicked, the value of these links will be added to the drop down box to create each option as we go. So this is an example uh, of the script. Um, when we click on uh, bread, sugar or tea, uh, so if we click on bread, it will then become uh, available in this drop down list. When we click on sugar, it will also become available in this drop down list because we're appending an option uh, onto the end of the select element in HTML. So let's take a look at uh, the code. Now we have append.js included in our file, that's extremely important. We're going to be writing out the code inside of there. It's extremely short, but it's a much a better example uh, than just showing appending normal text. It makes uh, the you know overall use of this uh, seem a lot more useful in uh, everyday applications. Okay, so let's first of all create our links. So I'm going to create these just inside a paragraph tag. Uh, we can copy and paste them. Uh, so the first one I'll just put bread. And the href is nothing. The class of this is going to be link, as is all the others. So we're going to keep the same class name, but we're going to use uh, the this keyword to reference each object. So the next will be sugar. And then we have t so we've used the class link and what this is going to do is it's going to identify all of these as clickable links we're going to call uh, an event handler in append.js to check for the clicking of these links we're then going to use the text attribute to actually take the text uh, inside from this link and then we're going to add it to a, a drop down box just here let's go ahead and create this drop down box I'm gonna say um, give it a name of list and then end the selection there now we don't need to provide any options in here because what's going to be happening is these op or these options that you would use that usually specify are going to be appended on for us so eventually we're going to end up with a list that looks like this with bread sugar and tea However, we're going to let jQuery do this for us as we click the list. So essentially what the user is doing is defining their own list. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the code. We first of all need to create an event handler for each of these links. So we've called this link, uh, this class link. So for each one of these links, we can use dot link. And when we click on one of these links, we want to carry out a function. Let's bring that down a bit. So inside of this function, we want to first of all take the value uh, from the link itself. So I'm going to create a variable called item. Now we need to go ahead and reference the um, actual link itself. However, we can't use link because I'll show you what happens. Let's go ahead and choose dot link. And then we use the dot val function to grab the value from, oh no, sorry, we use the dot text to grab the value from this link. Now you'll see what happens in this case when we click on an element. Oh, let's uh, see what we've done wrong here. Oh, okay, yeah, so we need to alert out item for debugging. Okay, so now that we've alerted that out, let's go ahead and click on a link. Now you can see that we've got bread, sugar, and tea combined. This is because we can't refer to this as dot link because we have the same element name for each one or the element class for each one and therefore we just use this and this just takes the currently clicked um, element so now what we do is when we click sugar we have the value sugar when we click t we have the value t when we click bread we have the value bread so now that we know that this item holds the currently clicked this item variable holds the currently clicked value we can go ahead and do something with it so obviously what we want to do is append this to the options inside of this select uh, list. So we're going to need to use the append uh, manipulator in jQuery. 
so we're going to go ahead and say list remember we called our list list then we're going to say dot append and what do we want to append on well we want to append on the item however this isn't valid HTML if we were to use the list like this click sugar nothing really happens uh, because we haven't chosen the option um, tags around it so what we need to do is we need to create some option tags so we're appending on uh, the item after this option tag here using the plus and then we go ahead and plus the ending option tag so earlier I showed you like this code here inside this code here and what we're doing is every time we click on a link this is appending down until we have filled the list okay so let's go ahead and test this in our browser let's just bring that up a bit when we click bread now you can see that the element has been added or the option element has been added inside of here and we now have bread in the drop down list when I click sugar that's added to the list as well and then when I click tea that's finally added to the list we can obviously then go and add uh, the same one over again however you could probably kind of try and come up with a way to check the current elements in there and then maybe put uh, times two on the end of it that's not for this tutorial but that's a more uh, useful example of the append um, manipulation in jQuery